Hey, good afternoon. It's a lovely day here in our garden and I thought I'd spend a little time explaining to you about how to make a fire and what we do with that thorny session about pooping. Well, let's hope not too thorny because we don't want needles where they don't belong. Okay, first of all, a few health and safety tips. Always wear gloves. Don't forget to pack them in your backpack. And these things. When you get to my age, you need something on your knees when you're kneeling down. Right, let's go and do the fire. Here, you see, I have made a bunch of tindling, tindling and some small branches, which I will now set a fire. Okay, oh, hang on. I have to take my gloves off, because I need to use this. Now this is a great little thing, this is a this is a bracelet that goes on here and in the bracelet, look, we have the means of making fire. Always wear one of these when you go out on your camping trip. Okay, so here we go. And we're going to have fire. It's a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it goes, it'll go fairly, fairly, fairly. Oh, it is. There you go. Look, just, just like, um, just a second. Just a second. Stay there. What is this? I'll edit this out. Let's just get this started. It's a bit windy, I thought this might happen. Can't even light a bloody gas. Okay, cut. I wasn't videoing. I wasn't videoing at all for the whole thing. No, you're not serious. <laughs> oh, I've got all the sticks now. Why not? I think me asking you on camera is good because yeah. it was on photo. Oh. I'm videoing now. I'm ready now. I'm videoing now. Let's put these on now. I'm sorry I didn't have the video on. No, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so as you can... <laughs> yeah. As you can see, uh, I have the fire going now. Uh, just quite use the fire. About. You don't want to burn it, but just, just keep the wind. So just keep feeding sticks, little sticks like this, onto the fire. There you go, look at that. I mean, it's so simple, I don't know why people make such a fuss about making the fire. Ask a question now. Uh, yes. What did you find all that wood in the forest? Well, yeah, yeah I found this, yeah. Yeah, I found uh, a couple of bits I had in the backpack and small bits. Always carry a little bit of wood. So it helps you make the fire. Well, that's all lying about. And what about the futon? Did you have that in your backpack? Uh, that was donated by a farmer uh, as we came into his field. Alright. Did he think it was all right for you to burn that in his field? Um, Did you ask him? I'm not, no, I'm not going to burn it. That's just. Oh, right, it's a windbreak. Keep the wind off. Right. Okay. Okay. So, so the next thing we're going to discuss then. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, right, okay. The next thing we're going to discuss, uh, it, it just over there in another place, is... It's pooping. <laughs> is it supposed to... Can someone to... call the fire brigade? Is it supposed to do that? Is it, oh, quick, the fire brigade. <laughs> is it supposed to do that? Uh, no. Are you sure? It looks pretty dangerous to me. Uh, well, maybe it's a little bit big. It's a bit windy today. It is. It's, yeah, that's another thing. Oh, yes. Always make sure when you're building your fire to clear a space. Clear a space there. You don't want to catch fire to anything. Else. Careful. And and um, make sure it's not windy. Okay. Because it could go up the tree and set the tree afire. Not a good idea. Okay. And the last thing is, when you've finished, get your trowel, get your trowel, make sure everything's out, and then dig up and bury, and bury everything so you leave no trace, no trace at all that there was ever a fire there. Because you don't want people knowing that. It's horrible in the countryside. You see all these fire pits all around. Okay. Okay, good. See you next time. Are you sure you're going to be able to put that out?